And so far, there have been five explosions that police believe are related. Authorities believe two suspicious packages, including the one that exploded in shirts this morning, came from a location in Sunset Valley in the southern part of Austin. KXAN's Aaron Cargill has the latest on the investigation. For eight hours, the FBI, ATF, and local police were checking out every inch of this FedEx store, measuring the front door, dusting for fingerprints, and pulling out evidence they're hoping will lead to the bomber. As soon as I saw the trucks, the um, police vehicles, uh, I saw the FedEx, I knew exactly what it was. Davy Davis and his wife were grabbing a bite to eat around the corner and have been closely following the bombing. But I think, I hope there's surveillance cameras. Oh, there are. More than half a dozen mounted to the ceiling. The majority are near the front door and the counter where customers drop off packages. Nearby businesses also say police came by asking if they had any surveillance video to share. After 31 years in the military, Davis brings his own perspective to the violence now playing playing out in his own backyard. Military targets, you're out to win a victory. You're out to, to accomplish something. When you bomb civilians, it's just for terrorism, just to hurt indiscriminately anyone who's walking by, man, woman, child, it doesn't matter. You're not after race, creed, or color. You're just out to hurt people. But he has full confidence the end is in sight. Well, the FBI is good at what they do. And from any little scraps that they find, they'll, they'll, they'll find out some information. Nail.